right, so here is a quick update on cabinets. So I was able to get all of these hung, the uh, corner cabinet, this over here is the sink cabinet. I just put the sink in to see what it what it's going to look like. And now that that's there, I can line up and figure out exactly where I need to drill the hole uh, for the task light above the sink. Um, these two cabinets over here, they're a little bit more tricky because they don't have a rail to um, slide onto like all the other ones on the wall and it locks in on those. It's, it's a pretty cool system um, that these cabinets have, but these don't have anything. They're free floating. They need to go up on the legs to get them up to that height. But then there's basically these two by fours and angle, heavy duty angle brackets and stuff that you um, that you use to secure them so they're not wobbly at all. And then um, the big thing was these cabinets over here. Th these are three pantry cabinets and that one goes right above the refrigerator. Now we had several iterations of this kitchen and what cabinets we were going to do and what the ceiling height was going to be. Um, it was gonna be so much work to try and raise the level of this, like this bottom level of the um, ceiling here that we decided not to. We decided to just do the center section here and put the four lights in. And at some point when we did that, we thought it was gonna be higher. So we ordered a counter depth fridge that Turns out when I installed this cabinet did not fit. Um, now this cabinet was 15 inches deep and now it's 10. Um, I modified it. I cut the two sides, the piece on the back, and, um, and then I had to reinforce the sides. So the only thing is that now, and I just have this mocked up with these right now to, to see um, where level is, but I'll secure all that later. The only thing is these don't have the, uh, what's it called? This stuff on the front. And so it looks ugly right now, but it's all going to be hidden because there's actually a couple big face panels that go from floor to ceiling on either side of this that kind of case in the refrigerator and I still haven't even unpacked those yet. So that's gonna sort of hide everything. And then there's gonna be, so the fridge is gonna come within two or three inches of the bottom of this. And then I'll put a little strip um, right there to hide it all. So anyway, let's uh, keep going. So we've finally gotten to the point where we can move past cabinets. Everything is installed. That door was not installed because it was damaged in shipping. So I need to get a new one. All the plywood on top of the cabinets, as well as all the trim pieces in between stuff. So everything's looking really good. Um, the one thing I am gonna have to do after cabinet or after flooring is the um, the kick plates, the kick boards that go underneath, or the, oh, what are they called? The toe kicks. I'm not in the pool right now. Um, so the toe kicks will go on after the flooring is down. Uh, let's go ahead and do that.
start over. No. Okay, just finished cutting. Get the rest of this tape off. And this should just pop out. Pretty great cuts. Um, the nice thing is, if I was going to do an undermount sink, I would have to polish up all these edges. Um, However, we are doing an overmount sink, so this rough cut is all that I need. I'll probably just clean up the little mesh on the backside, um, but I don't need to do anything else here. The sink will just drop in, and the flange will cover the edges, and we'll be good to go. So the last thing I need to do is measure right here and I already have those measurements so I just need to mark it on the t on the uh, countertop here but I need to mark the hole for the sink and for the soap dispenser and we'll be done